like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Can you believe that there have been 13 seasons of Spongebob? Crazy, right? Well, what if I told you that some of those episodes and some of those seasons have mistakes? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today, so let's get started. Wait, before we get things going though, leave a comment down below, letting us know other cartoon mistakes you'd like us to cover on the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, that way you enter into our monthly shoutout giveaway. In the episode Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 2, Spongebob wins a conch shell that can summon Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in emergencies. However, as you can imagine, he abuses this privilege, constantly calling the superhero duo to help with everyday boring tasks, so eventually they let Spongebob join them on their daily patrol to keep them, well, quiet. Now in the end, Spongebob actually saves the iconic duo from their longtime rival, the Dirty Bubble. But if we rewind to an earlier point in the episode, I found a subtle mistake. For about one frame or so, Spongebob's superhero headband is randomly covering his eyes. Again, this only happens for one frame and then goes back to normal, so it was definitely a mistake. Hey, can I drive? Drive? What do you know about? About driving the invisible boat mobile. Tons! Like the windshield wipers are right here. Don't touch that button, it's the. <laughs> or a gummy button. In the episode Jellyfish Hunter, SpongeBob creates a jellyfish condiment at the Krusty Krab, and it goes on to be a hit with customers. So much so, that Mr. Krabs begins abusing the jellyfish, it's very sad, to get more jelly. Now during one scene, where Spongebob's pants hilariously fly off, the right part of his pants, which is supposed to be white, is weirdly transparent, making for an odd mistake. Another mistake occurs a few scenes later. As Fred finishes his epic song, a crowd can be heard clapping and cheering for him. But if you look at the actual crowd, none of the fish are moving at all. Our next mistake can be found in the season 12 episode, The Krusty Slammer. In this episode, The Krusty Slammer, Bikini Bottom's jail gets too full to hold any more prisoners. Because they are so low on space, they make a deal with Mr. Krabs, where they will pay the Krusty Krab to keep the prisoners at the restaurant. At first, it starts with just a few prisoners, but next thing you know, the Krusty Krab has completely transformed into a full-on prison, it's kinda funny. Now as you can imagine, this decision ends up backfiring, but if we head back to this scene, we can find a mistake. As Plankton attempts to escape Mr. Krabs' office, there are a couple of frames where one of Plankton's legs are cut off at the end of the screen, making for an awkward mistake. It's mine, I saw it first! I know what you're <laughs> The perfect escape! <laughs> In the classic episode, Grandma's Kisses, Spongebob reveals that he really, really loves his grandmother and has a lot of love for her, resulting in his friends and co-workers teasing him and bullying him for being what they consider a baby. Now at the very beginning of the episode, when Spongebob first arrives at work, we can see the character Clayton sitting at the table. In this shot, he's blue. However, seconds later when we see this more close-up shot, Clayton has magically changed colors to purple. Here's a clip. Bye, Grandma. Thanks for the ride. Thank you, Squidward. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with getting kisses from your grandma. No. Especially if you're a big baby who wears diapers <laughs> and, and sucks his thumb and plays with dolls and um, wears pajamas. 
will beat him! 